the major blunder in how New Mexico handles its safe haven baby boxes. This is where mothers are told they can anonymously surrender a newborn. This problem now has lawmakers trying to rush a bill through the roundhouse to fix it. News 13's Annalisa Pardo talked with the baby box founder and the CYFD secretary about how this happened and where we go from here. She has the story. They've been advertised as a safe and anonymous place where mothers can surrender their newborns, no questions asked. Yeah. There are five safe haven baby boxes in New Mexico. So far, four infants have been surrendered and saved in them. But now, confusion. And I thought, how is this possible that this is actually happening like this when we have these boxes for a reason, which is anonymity? Monica Kelsey is the founder of Safe Haven Baby Boxes and says she was outraged and shocked to learn CYFD had investigated and tried to find the parents of each newborn surrendered. But CYFD Secretary Teresa Casados explains they are bound by state law to do so. CYFD is not doing an investigation to in any way criminalize or prosecute anyone. Our investigation really is just to make sure that any efforts that we're making to locate the mother are to make sure that she is safe. She says state law requires them to investigate to ensure the mother was not forced to give up her baby, to make sure she's healthy, and that the father is informed as well. Secretary Casado says federal law protecting indigenous heritage also requires them to look into each case. If in fact the infant is a native child, and if so, we need to notify the nation, tribes, and pueblos and ensure that we're following the placement preferences that we have for native children. We asked Kelsey how other states have dealt with this federal law. And I don't know if the Department of Child Services and the other states are required to do DNA tests, but uh, I've never dealt with that in any of the other states, and I've never dealt with that with any of the infants that have come through the Baby Box program. It's unclear how we got here, where the organization and different local leaders advertised a place to surrender your child, no questions asked. Without knowing, CYFD legally couldn't promise that. Secretary Casado says she wasn't in charge of CYFD when those first boxes were installed. But now lawmakers, including Republican Representative Gail Armstrong, is trying to change that law. But we just want to fix it. Yeah. But we're so late in the game. I mean, we're so late in the game. Introducing new legislation that aims to keep CYFD from investigating unless the infant has signs of neglect or abuse. My legislation would be a quick fix, but it wouldn't be a total fix. So far, she says it hasn't moved forward with just hours left in the session. While the next steps on how to fix this aren't ironed out, everyone does agree on the need to protect the parents and surrendered newborns. And it has to be changed. If we're going to allow these women anonymity, we've got to change this law. Annalisa Pardo, KRQE. And I just want mothers to know, like, you know, they, they are safe in doing this, and we want to have that conversation and just make sure um, that we can provide support. News 13. Secretary Casado says she's considering reaching out to cities that install baby boxes to explain the laws.